I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Inside this box is a counterfeit card coming straight back from PSA where they verified it's one of the sharpest counterfeits they've ever seen. The card is completely fake, the PSA holder, the label, but it all looked absolutely authentic. So opening up the box, that is a letter to me from the PSA fraud department assuring me that the holder and the card were forgeries. And here's the card. They don't send me the holder back because I guess they're pretty impressed with the amount of detail that went into it, but they sent me the card back. So I'm gonna put on the screen, you guys should be able to see what the card looked like when I bought it. I don't have to put a picture up, here you go. They sent me the high res scans. There it is. I mean, in person, looks as real as you could imagine until PSA caught wind of it and put a warning when you scanned it in to see the pop of it, you would never, ever, ever know. That's a fake. Now let's take a look at the actual card. When you scanned it on PSA, it was fine, but somewhere in there, in that time frame, when you went to scan it on PSA, it said there was an issue, please contact us, and I did. And I spoke to their department, we sent it in, and uh, confirmed. Here it is, a Ronaldo Mega Cracks rookie. This apparently is one of the most forged cards alongside the Michael Jordan Fleer rookie out there. This, is a counterfeit. It is not real. If it's real, in a PSA 6, could go anywhere from two to $3,000. A PSA 3, $1,000. Absolutely insane, so be careful what you buy. Now, I had buyer protection with my business credit card, so I got my money back, but I mean, looks legit to me but it's not. It is a fraud. It is a counterfeit. It is a forged fake Ronaldo rookie. Be careful out there, guys.